Of course, life is going to throw crap at you all the time. Does that mean you have no choice? No. Once you're told that, and if you're willing to take that accountability, the rest is hard work. It's not easy, but I can guarantee you will get there. Welcome back to Mulligan Brothers. Today's video, as always, was sponsored by Huel. I'm drinking Huel Black Edition, which has 26 vitamins and minerals, 35 grams of protein, and slow-release carbs to make sure that I can stay satiated and protein up whilst I make these documentaries. If you want to find out more about these, go to the link in the description. I'll talk about them a little bit later on in the video. In your book, you speak about this, um, this like blend of neuroscience and computer science. And I'm going to butcher this because I'm, I'm not very computer savvy. Um, but this idea of, um, you know, we've got the, the brain, the computer, and then these things happen to us. Like, I don't know if it's like uploading code or putting code onto what are the things that like affect the way in which we think, feel, have emotions? Like what are those bits of code? Like tra I'm guessing trauma is one of those things, but what else comes in there and how, how does it affect? I, th I think we all have a, a slightly different operating system. So if you compare computer systems to human minds, uh, the, the most visible difference is that uh, when you upgrade a computer, you upgrade the software you install a new operating system. When you upgrade your brain, okay, you're literally reconfiguring the hardware. Most people don't understand that. So, so what ends up happening is in your brain, anything that you use uh, is used by connecting a few neurons. Let's, let's just simplify it. Huh? A few neurons fire together for you to tap your finger. Okay? If you keep tapping your finger for an hour a day, your brain will say this is a very useful neural network. Th those neurons wire together. They become almost a permanent piece of hardware that's available to you all the time so that your brain doesn't have to reestablish that network every time you tap your finger. It's just available to it all the time. Because you're doing that, you're not going to scratch your ears very much because you're using your fingers to tap them. So the neural network that scratches your ears disappears. Right? And because of that, every single one of us humans literally runs on a very different piece of hardware. Okay? And, 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 and that hardware is almost like in the old days when we coded computers before all of the programming languages is, is low level code. It's almost like designing a computer for every human. It's very adaptable as a computer. You can keep changing it. Right? But the problem is um, if if I gave you a belief when you were six years old, hmm, your brain spends every day that it believes that concept looking for evidence for it. Okay. And so every time a trauma that happens when you're a child, uh, you know, um, I'm not lovable. Okay. You get a trauma that's called I'm not lovable. And then your brain searches every single morning when you're at school, when you're in the bus station, when you're doing this, when you're doing that, for evidence to prove that concept. Okay? And if you search for something, you find it. And so every time you find it, you're engraving that hardware even more. I'm not lovable. I'm not lovable. I'm not lovable. Okay? And eventually you end up, you know, unable to change it. It becomes... It becomes part of who you are. It becomes the lens through which you see the world. The new year is approaching. And as always, Mulligan Brothers is doing its 2025 sale. So if you put the code in on the website, you can get buy one, get one free across the whole range, including the Not A Journal and the Memento Mori poster, an interactive poster that you fill in every single week. And it shows you how much life you've lived and potentially how much you've got left. Then somewhere along there is a square that will be my last square. It might have even been the square that I filled in last week. And I promise you that fills you with the most motivation to make make your life mean something and live with purpose. And the Not A Journal is a journal for just getting stuff done. I know so many of you have loved it and that's why we've included it in the buy one get one free with the link below. While stocks last, once all the journals are gone, that is it guys. As always, each year we do sell out. So make sure you get your orders in very quick. By purchasing something from the website, you're helping supporters going into 2025 to be able to make even more incredible documentaries. There are two ways you can deal with this. And I, and I jokingly do a, talk about that because I'm a very serious engineer and my wife, Hannah, is a very, very, very serious therapist. Okay. And I joke about it all the time because 
you know, as an engineer, if you got me your car and it was leaking oil, hmm, I would look at it and I would go like, oh, hose is broken, change the hose, let's move forward, right? A therapist, on the other hand, will sit you down and say, tell me when you bought that car, okay? Uh, how, how did you drive it in the first couple of weeks? What happened? How did you abuse it? How did the hose break? Okay, both have merit to them, remember. Huh? One of them is saying, we don't really care how the hose broke. Hmm? Uh, let's make sure that we fix it so that you can move forward. The other will say, but if you fix it and you continue to do the same behavior, you're gonna break it again, okay? Interestingly, both of them, however, are basically trying to find that hardware, okay? That neural network that's completely uh, defining who you are. Now, uh, whenever you find it, whichever way, okay, all that it takes is that you keep trying to repeat actions that are against that neural network, okay? So if, if you tell me I'm not good enough, hmm, and I start to find ways to show you, I cannot tell you because people don't believe what they're told. They have to be experiencing something. If I keep showing you ways in which you are good enough, okay? If I try explaining to you that, you know, uh, good enough for what? Nobody is good enough for everything, okay? You're good enough for people who, for example, love uh, simple in, you know, intellectual conversations, but you're not good enough for people who want to go out to parties or vice versa. Right? And, and so, as every time you see evidence unlike your original trauma, you're using a different neural network to verify that. And the more you verify a new, a new neural network, the more you have a different hardware and the old hardware gets vanished, gets removed, okay? Uh, a therapist, on the other hand, will take you back to the time where that original concept was installed and tell you, oh, hold on. Now look back at that moment, the original engraving of the, of the hardware wasn't necessary at all, okay? <clears throat> Either way, hmm, it takes a very long time to change, which is why change is so difficult. Either way, what ends up happening is that you need to be putting yourself in a different place than your comfort zone, okay? Because once you have neural hardware designs, these become your natural habits. If I, if I told you when you're very good at tapping your finger to try and scratch your ear, you're going to go like, no, hold on, I'm really good at this, okay? I'm really good at making myself miserable. I'm really good at reminding myself that I'm not good enough. I'm really good at, you know, telling myself that I'm not lovable and so on and so forth. When you see it that way, suddenly some, the most annoying concept appears, which is you're in charge. And I know it sounds... Like a lot of people are going to switch off that, the, the, this conversation now because what do you mean I'm in charge? Like life has been so unfair to me. Even if, even if I created those neural networks myself, it was because my dad was a, an a-hole, right? Yes, but at this moment, okay, if you take that snapshot in time and look forward, if you start changing your neural networks, believe it or not, just like going to the gym, Right? So you go to the gym, you, you, you get your muscles to fatigue, you feed them with enough protein, you rest, the next morning you'll be, or the next week you'll be stronger. And you can visibly see it. Similarly, if you take your beliefs and, and, and scripts and stories and work through them and, and verify what's good for you and change your habits, okay, week after week after week after week, you'll be a changed machine. You'll be a changed hardware configuration. You'll see the world differently. And so, while it's difficult for some of us to start doing the work and going to the gym, we're still in charge. Because for all of us, unless you're, you know, your body's unable, if you do go to the gym, you'll get results. And so the fact that you don't is your choice, right? I have a tiny little belly now, and it's not tiny so, more, so much anymore, but it's a choice, believe it or not. Hmm? I, I know what matters to me in life. I know that at this age, I cannot do certain exercises anymore. And I know that at this season of my life, believe it or not, hmm, I have things that are so much more important for me. Hmm? And so I still go to the gym, but not eight times a week like I did when I, when in my 40s, for example, right? And, and, and it's a choice. Now, if you look at me, I'm not gonna say that my belly is the result of my age. No, it's not. My little belly is the result of my choice. I'm accountable for that because believe it or not, I can change my lifestyle and I'll be ripped again. 
right? And, and it's actually really, really interesting because once you're told that, and if you're willing to take that accountability, the rest is hard work, okay? It's not easy, but I can guarantee you will get there. Hmm? And, and I think that's the one thing that most people forget, hmm? that yes, of course, life is gonna throw crap at you all the time. Hmm? Does that mean you have no choice? No, it means it might be a little more difficult for you today than it is for your friend, it will be a little more difficult for them next week than it is for you. But for all of us, it's a bit of challenge to build the right neural networks so that you end up the best version of yourself. Your choice. The luckiest of all of us are those who own the world, but the world doesn't own them. The only asset I have in life is my time. That's the only thing that I come to this world with.